Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. This is a Virgo only channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Welcome back everybody. Um, so if you wanna get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. I am running a special for February, $50 off a 30 minute phone call reading. Do check that out. All right, you guys. So let's get started, see what your messages are. I'm feeling called today to do the Celtic cross spread. So we're gonna start with that. Okay, you got the golden mirror, the chaser, and lightning. All right, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Chaser, in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Some of you have walked away, you left, a narcissistic partner or someone that you are connecting with okay just like that boom and this person <clears throat> oh they're coming to chase after you or they are chasing after you you're gonna hear from that this narcissist okay love bombing okay they don't like the fact that you left sudden change you're gonna get some shocking news surprise they're gonna come in with an epiphany upheaval you know this is a tower moment okay I don't know who your person is. It could be a love relationship, friends, family, whomever, okay? But there's just someone very self-absorbed, very full of themselves, always wanting to have things their way. <clears throat> Some of you might be meeting this person. <clears throat> I'm not telling you that every person, like the next person you're going to meet is a narcissist. I think it's just really important. I don't even like using the word, but it's there. I like to say spiritually disordered. Maybe we'll go with that. But whatever, you're going to definitely have somebody chasing after you here. Let's take a look at the Celtic Cross and see what's going on here. Okay. Um, I just feel like some of you have, or you will be, breaking the cycle, breaking the chain here, not going back. You're done. You're, you know, not chasing a situation ship. You're not chasing a bad kind of situation, but this person is chasing you. And I feel like you're going to be mighty surprised when they come back in because a lot of you are in this place where you're like, okay, this person's, you know, very self-centered. They didn't love me. I left. They're not even trying to come after me. They're not hoovering. Haven't heard anything. You're going to get the, you're going to get the Valentine's Day Hoover, some of you from this person. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This person, they don't like that you abandon them. No, 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 no. They do not like it. That you walked away or you said, that's it. Go F yourself. I'm out. All right, let me see. Past position. I cannot shuffle to save my life today. Past position with this person. Oh yeah, Knight of Cups. It came in with that sweet, sweet sweetness. Coming in, offering that love. Um, a prince or princess charming. This is how this person showed up in the past, okay? Very romantic, love bombing, offering their cup. But notice something here. Maybe you don't notice, but this cup is empty. They gave you an empty cup. They weren't coming in. They made it seem like a proposal or romantic, but they weren't coming in to give you. They were coming in to have you fill their cup. Okay, and I think that <laughs> that's something to take notice because you, if you're riding a horse and you got a cup like that with fluid in it or water, that love water, love potion, and you're riding that horse, it's going to shake, rattle, and roll right out of that cup. Okay, so trust me, by the time this person got to you, that cup was empty and they were just coming in with the please fill my cup. I am Prince or Princess Charming. That's what you were dealing with. Okay, now let me see present energy here okay nine of cups wow so the present energy is like i'm feeling good feeling fine okay um this person i gotta tell you <laughs> you're sitting there look at you virgo you're there and you got all your cups and you're like okay bring it on every time when these people comes into my life I just take their cup from them and I just store it. <laughs> you know, I feel like this person has, like you guys have split and then they've come back time and time and time and time. They keep coming back with these cups and you're just taking the cups and you're like, no, let me, let me just take this cup and I'll just put my own. 
what you call it in it. I'll put my own love potion in it, you know, and drink from it myself. You know, I don't, I don't feel like you were, I don't, I don't see you here giving, uh, filling this person's cup. I just feel like they keep coming back to you to try and get it. And you just keep taking the cup and like, yeah, I'll think about it maybe later. And you just store it on your shelf right now, Virgo, the present energy is you're in the nine of cups. You're just like in abundance, feeling good. And, and I feel like this person, they know that about you. That's why they keep coming back. That's why they keep love bombing. That's why they keep reaching out to you. That's why they keep chasing after you because you got the real stuff. You got the goods. And wherever they are, whatever they're doing, whomever they're with, just they can't get anything from anybody else um, that's worthy. It, it's kind of like just a temporary fill. That's Virgo. And you got to know don't so because that's showing up here make sure that you don't gaslight yourself okay make sure you don't get in a position where okay this person's coming back it must mean that they love me or think to yourself oh they must really care they keep coming back no that's bullshit because someone who truly loves you is not going to leave you <laughs> don't get it mixed up someone who truly loves you is not going to leave you they're not going to leave and then come back and then leave and then come back that's a messed up person. What's the challenge here? Yep, the tower. Here you go. Tower here. The challenge, the lightning, the upheaval, the sudden change. You're, this person is going to be coming in to try to try to. They got one cup, you got nine. They're going to try and come in with that that extra cup to give you that ten of cups. They're going to come in with that. Oh, I want to be with you. Oh, I really love you. I'm here to give you love and support. Uh, you know what I mean? That's what I feel like is going on here. And I feel like you're in a completion stage. You know, you're like, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. <laughs> you're at the wrap party. <laughs> it's a wrap. Okay. So the obstacle here is going to be that shocker. This person coming back in. It's gonna, you're just going to be like, are you kidding me? And a lot of you thought this person wasn't going to return or that it was done, you know, but this person is codependent and they're not going to give up. Codependency is a form of manipulation. They're, this person is not going to give up forever and ever and ever and ever. And don't be thinking it's love with a narcissist or someone who's very spiritually disordered because it's not it's love for self but it's projected onto you to make it look like it's love for you but it's not okay and the only and listen i know a lot about narcissism because i studied it and i know a lot of you do too now i'm not a doctor but i feel <laughs> like that this is what the energy is and i don't know who this person is like for some of you it could be a pisces could be a water sign um could be a scorpio for others it's, it, it could be any person and we'll see as the signs go what moves forward but i feel like um whoever this person is to you that's in and out of your life it doesn't have to be a lover okay it could just be a friend it could be a family member you got the goods virgo all right let me see you know i want to pull a clarifying card for the tower what is the tower show me this give me more clarity on this challenge here what is this challenge for virgo Oh yeah, the star to stay in healing energy. See this person going to come up, and come in, and try to disrupt your flow. You are. Um, they're going to try to renew this connection with you. The star is Aquarian energy. It could be somebody who sits in the public eye. You know, they've got like, oh, I've had an epiphany. Oh, I have inner clarity. You know, I didn't, I didn't believe you would take me back. Uh, you know, that kind of have faith in us. That kind of energy is going to come through. And you got to be really careful with that. I just want to get another clarifying card. Oh, I've missed you so much. I've been so sad. I've been lost and, and grieving without you. Normally, this would be so lovely. Normally, this would be so lovely if it wasn't for this codependency and this narcissistic, self-absorbed asshole or ass, her hole, whatever it is, <laughs> one-sided love bombing energy. You know, I just feel like it's going to be a real shock to you. All right, let's see. 
Let's see what's driving. What's driving this reading? Well, the Six of Pentacles, okay. This person, um, I feel like they're gonna try and, and just be, give that even exchange. But just remember, the Six of Pentacles sometimes in my reading is my breadcrumbing card, you know? This is somebody who comes in and gives, a, a, and I'm picking up Libra as well. This is somebody who comes in and gives a little bit to one person then gives a little bit to the other or siblings, like maybe this is a father or mother um, or um, a father or mother of your children, you know. Um, oh, I want to pay, I want to start paying what I have to pay you. <laughs> if I owe it, like money or something, I'm feeling. But the Six of Pentacles is like, I feel like this person's going to come in with this, you know, uh, you know, let me help you out. I'm ready to give, being more generous. I don't feel like, like I'm telling you, I don't, I don't like the energy because, because it looks really great, but it's all about this person, what they're not getting, what they're missing, how they're feeling, not how you're feeling or what's going on with you. This reading is shit. Okay. King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. What's on your mind here? What's crowning down? Is this person coming in? Is this is this your person? Isn't it strange how yesterday's reading is so contrasting? That's why I say when you listen to my readings every day, you got to take them with a grain of salt because it may not be for you every single day. What is this? What is the energy of this King of Wands here? Show me this King of Wands. This King of Wands, just as I was saying, Prince or Princess Charming, King or Queen of Wands, this person's coming in, this charm. And I feel like this is, it may or may not, it, this is just like the energy that's happening, okay? I'm going to take a look at you, and then I'm a little deeper, and then I'm going to take a look at your person a little deeper. But, you know, this is spirit, like, coming down saying, oh, it's this person coming in, Mr. or Mrs., charming i'm just hearing charming very bold someone who's very like self-assured or confident but they're really not you know because they're all about themselves they just have this very self-centered way about them here coming in and chasing after you all right show me yep look get out of here here's a devil capricorn energy the devil energy addiction greed envy materialism obsession and sexual lust this is this person's coming in with that double energy okay coming in with that double energy all right so you're gonna get some shocking news this person i'm telling you is just gonna be showing up in the month of february and also some of you are gonna get that love bombing hoover around valentine's day all right and if you don't get it it's trust me it's punishment now let me see what is the new or the near future showing up here okay temperance interesting peace and harmony hmm why sagittarius energy oh i see protecting your peace this is what's going on here okay protecting your peace your peace of mind protecting your heart Let me get another clarifying card for it. Okay, yep, look, got the Hierophant here. This person's gonna, um, so what I wanna tell you is there's an energy here. Somebody here is not giving up. They don't wanna let you go, okay? They're gonna tell you that you are their everything, their peace of mind, you know, we're meant to be together, we're in sync, you know? I want you back. <laughs> Because I want it that way. <laughs> I don't even know. Is that Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? I don't even know. But I, I have to tell you, like, look at this. Possessive energy with the Four of Pentacles. Okay? This is greed. Same as the devil. This greedy energy. And you're like, uh-uh. You're blocking, your, you're blocking yourself. 
you got you're not answering the call you got this person on block you got you know on the phone you're not you're not responding you know you're not answering the door you're looking through the peephole and you're like oh no you don't and you're turning around and going the other way you're like send those flowers back send all that shit back this person i feel honestly like they are why are they coming in like I do feel like they really miss you and I feel like a lot of it is um, but missing their opportunity to manipulate you that's what I feel like is going on here with this person and I just I just feel like the energy is going to come up for you when this happens that you're like no I am protecting my peace my peace of mind everything I've been working on my healing I've been patient I've been you know letting spirit work its magic through me I've been letting God take the wheel. Um, you know, I'm in self. I've got self-control. I'm being. I'm moderating myself. I'm not reacting. You know. What was I just asking? Oh, what's going on with this? Okay, I was asking why they were coming in. There you go. The lovers and the ten of cups. I told you. Okay, this person. It's such a shame to waste such a good 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 love opportunity on somebody who is just so manipulative and just wants to take advantage of you all these amazing beautiful cards that you're getting and it's all i can't give you a good reading all the time um, because i just feel like you guys got to protect yourselves when this person comes in a lot of you i feel like you get triggered by this person you know they reach out and then you're like oh you know you feel that trigger and they know just when to come in they know just when to reach out they know just when to connect if there's a threat that you're with somebody else or you know anything like that okay gemini energy there this person just knows it's like what are they tracking you it's like how do they know as soon as you start healing and you get away and all that stuff some of you are this person completely blocked they can't see you they can't speak to you they can't talk to you and it's like as soon as you're either in a new relationship with somebody else or talking to somebody else it's like they got their narc radar going all right let me see your advice here okay you got the sun oh all right i just heard expose the shit out of them expose this person that they're they're like that they're trying to come in that they're trying to reach out that they're trying to you know trap you again let everybody know if this person's coming back in again let people know you know expose them for what they are a child because that's what the spiritually disordered quote unquote person is like a child never grew up okay that's leo energy your advice here is to maintain your peace and be happy and joyful and uh, not let anybody come in and rock the apple cart here in your world okay stay in your success stay in the sun you know vampires don't come out in the sun don't stay in the dark get out there what else is your advice here look protect your heart now you get the four of pentacles again protect 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 okay you're seeking long-term security for self and for what you need in your life protect yourself let's take a look at this person let's take a look at their energy oh yeah look at them coming in with that big old fat ego mm-hmm I just want to win all I care about is winning all I care about is being successful victory recognition and rec pay attention to me recognize me okay I'm bringing you some good news I'm trying to tell you that like you're everything to me and Virgo's like you can be everything to a garbage pail as far as I like get the hell out of here all right this person's coming in with that six of wands they look at them and here's the death card okay oh they're coming in so transformed they get a lot of public recognition or they just need the approval and validation from you and other people they got to be like they always got to be winning um death card scorpio energy so this person it's like dead inside you know there's nothing in there identity crisis it's just like an empty hole with this person coming in 
you know, making themselves look as if they're like super successful, famous, everybody loves them, all this support, but like they're dead inside. Because when they get close to people, they leave a trail of death in their relationships. You know what I mean? People who come in contact with, with this person, look at them. They wind up on the ground. Other people are like, ooh, ooh, they can't wait to talk to them. But no, they're, uh, no. I don't like it. I don't like that. It's like some kind of evil energy or a demon inside. It's like you're always at scratch. You've always been at, at the starting gate with this person. Never really. It's always been a failure to launch. Three of Pentacles energy here. This person come. I feel like they've tried to mold you, or to turn you, or create you, or sculpt you into something that they wanted you to be, so that you would fit the narrative, or you would fit the ideal, the ideal for them. Every time they come back in, for you. The, or if this is somebody new, God forbid, that they come in and it's like, just got to be careful. You know, how are you going to know? Here's what I want to know. If this is somebody new, how's Virgo going to know that this is what they're dealing with? Give me a sign here. Okay. Queen of Cups are going to come in with that real sweet, lull you to sleep. Tell you how, how amazing you are. They're going to nurture the heck out of you. Be like so supportive, male or female. Water energy. They're going to get those waters flowing. Warm. Did you ever get in a warm bath and how it just surrounds you and makes you feel like you're floating and you, you just are like, oh, it smells good and it feels so good? That's how you're going to know. It's not that this person's a water sign. I'm just saying, because I was asking about the energy. You know, they're going to be quite open sharing very um in a, in a yin energy feminine energy just and it's a shame for people who are like that who are very watery and sweet because it makes them look bad because then when you meet people like that you think oh is this a not this like carbon copy of this person it's not always the case but there's something about this person you're going to be able to pick up um the charm um because if you don't know who they are and this is somebody new coming in Virgo, you're going to know it right away because anybody that you first meet who comes off like that, like over the top, you know, Virgo, you, you have like radar as well. And when they're, when they're coming in like over the top like that, that's how you know, like, okay, this, you don't even know me. Okay. And this person does it because of their fear and they're going to play on your fears and your anxieties. So you need to be careful. Okay. You just need to be careful. Hopes and fears here. All right, you're hoping that you stay in this, you know, abundance energy, um, the Empress, okay? You're hoping that you will be able to um, keep leveled up to where you've come from, because I feel like if you were dealing with someone in the past, like, the Empress is not tainted. She's like brand spanking new, you know? She's always fresh. She's always clean. Um male or female don't get it wrong it's you know masculine or feminine energy it doesn't matter but the empress she's she's always like just amazing you know i don't even want to say amazing it sounds so cliche but to say she's like that all right like she always smells good she's always looking good she dresses well she takes care of herself you know she has this just way about her that um she doesn't have time for jokers basically you know what i mean like she's the she's the mother of all mothers she's the she's the um the empress she's the queen of, she's all the queens okay and it's an energy so that represents that she is um herself very nurturing she's resourceful self-sufficient honest she's self-assured she's confident um, your hopes is that you just keep maintaining that or that you keep that level going within yourself. Your fear here is the Seven of Cups, okay? You fear, for some of you, being ghosted. You are ghosted in the past or you fear um, confusion. Some of you, I feel like what that means is this person's going to come in and I'm telling you right now, 
if you sense right away that that this person coming in is somebody new is you know they got that they got that love bomb and energy stuff going on like if you sense that you gotta pay attention to your body you sense that block them immediately okay if you sense it block it immediately if this is a person from the past returning okay um you gotta do the same thing it's even harder because you're going to be triggered they find a way in a lot of times people come in with whether they're spiritually disordered or not they're going to come in with like this epiphany or they've learned the greatest lesson and you know what do i always say okay cut off your leg <laughs> make them prove it to you go ahead shave your head you know what i'm saying oh you really love me oh you want to come back okay well you need to go shout it from the uh, rooftops you need to let everyone know you need to come to my family and you need to do that for a year straight and prove it because that's what it's going to take for me to believe you right and i feel like that's what you got to do because you know put somebody to the test yeah, that's why like when when jobs or corporations whatever they hire somebody you know oh yeah we'll hire you on but you're gonna be on probation for 90 days before you get the full benefits <laughs> because they, they just know people are gonna quit people can't people can't go more than 90 days maybe even six months at tops if they can't if people who aren't serious they can play the game and they can play it for 90 days to six months but they can't go any further than that it's too exhausting they can't keep it up that long so if you're not sure put someone to the test don't give your don't give all the benefits away free all right let me see if you're looking for true love if you're not serious about finding somebody then don't give many tests just take them in because you taking in strays are you taking in a project what are you doing is that what you're looking for let's see the outcome okay <laughs> page cups oh, I feel like you guys are gonna be like I appreciate the offer and the opportunity um, here's your cup back motherfucker <laughs> I, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to have any ad sponsors or anything on this channel because I can't help it with this this sailor trash mouth I have oh my gosh yeah you're gonna be like thank you for the opportunity here's your cup back and take your stupid fish with you I feel like Virgo. <laughs> Sorry, I got a better opportunity. Sorry, I got something even better. And I got someone who's interested in investing. You know, sorry, don't want it. Take your cup back. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm not laughing. In the, I'm not laughing at you. I just, I just know that you got this set of brass you know what on you. And sometimes I, I'm concerned about you, Virgo, that you're not using it. Sometimes I'm concerned that you're not standing up for yourself and you're just not, you're not using that, that gift that you have. I know some of you Virgos, I mean, your cutoff game is strong, uh, but some of you are like, no, it's okay. Well, it's all right. I'll take you back. I love you. <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to pull romance angels, but they were in my hand. Okay. Retreat. What do they say in a war? When the war is lost, we're not fighting anymore. We're going to retreat. Retreat, Virgo. Disconnect from this, this narc world that keeps trying to pull you in, into their country or their land or their world. <laughs> oh, gosh. Free yourself. Oh, my gosh. You can't make this up. It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself from this person flowers candy get the hell out of here give me something good put them through like boot camp virgo you put somebody through boot camp for like a really long time make them do like tell them how you want to be with me you got to do um i don't know 300 push-ups a day <laughs> have fun because someone who truly loves you like you'll know i mean they'll do it but they'll do it. that'll be everlasting you know i mean you don't want to beat anybody up or like hurt anybody but you know you got to put people to the test virgo and don't take no don't take anything else calling in your soulmate mm. 
some of you are uh <laughs> i just heard some of you actually call this person and and then they come in with the love bombing energy and i feel like some of you have been pr I, they just gave me the phrase be careful what you wish for virgo be careful what you're praying for some of you can call in in the wrong people okay some of you are calling in the wrong people. You gotta ask yourself, when somebody comes into your life, you gotta say, you gotta have a little chat with, uh, you know, higher power up there and say, excuse me, um, you bring this person in for me? Or is this coming from some other demonic spirit? Like, are, can you give me a sign? Are you bringing this person into me, in for me? Like, do a little, do a little check first. All right, a couple of cards here from my Moon Pie Tarot deck, and uh, yep, love offer. See, this person, I'm telling you, Happy Valentine's Day! I've missed you. I have flowers for you. I want. Oh, are you gonna get a card? Some of you get something in the mail, or an, an offer for a date with this person, loving older female. That's the Queen of Cups. That's what I was just showing you. This person coming in with that real sweet vibe, that watery vibe. Okay. Coming in with that watery vibe. I want to talk to you. And putting on the emotions. You know, turning the water up. Turning the heat up. And learning a new skill. Hmm, this is what they're coming in with. This is a tactic. Okay, this is a tactic. They're coming in with something a little bit different. That's why I said you're, it's going to be a shocker. It might not be for some of you a shocker this person's reaching out or hoovering. But it may be a shocker with the way they hoover be discerning with people who are coming in because they're non-committal right get your back up off the wall dance come on um now tonight's going to be a little bit short okay um because i feel like we've said what we need to say here so let me get into see what some other messages are here for you okay somebody is triple x somebody has a porn addiction i just heard severe like so bad that this person actually has an account and they're very very active on it um let me see Oh gosh, um, this person might say to you, they're injured. They just told me. They might come in and say to you that they're injured, that they have an injury or they've been in a wheelchair or something. Playing on your anxieties and your sympathy. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know for sure, but for some of you that it's a tactic. I just keep hearing a tactic. My blood pressure has been really high. Get you to feel bad for them. Okay. Um, I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. All I wanted one time to you love me. Only wanted to see you dancing in the purple rain. Let's see. Jojo, JG, JJ, GG. I just heard that. Jojo. JJ or GG. G or J. Oh my goodness. Some of you met this person in 2020. Okay. There's a Queen of Cups again. That is now the third time. Okay. So we have water energy here for some of you. Loving, compassionate. Oh, Virgo, you're so psychic. You know, you're so psychic. I trust you. You know, it's really crazy, but I'm not picking up. This person, like, okay, Game of Thrones. That's all I'm hearing. Game of Thrones. Okay. Q and a P.
Somebody's born on the 17th and the 9th. And the 8th. We also have um, 1998 is a pivotal year for somebody. Um, I just heard um, ST, it's like Stan, Stanley, or S Sting, or something like that. Or st okay, they just gave me a stick. I just have a stick. What the heck's that mean? Mm, okay, city building. I'm seeing a city building. Like a, like very tall skyscrapers. Very tall skyscrapers. And arching window panes. Letter C. And the 16th. Four one zero, the number I'm getting. Somebody's in a garage or works in a garage. They just said, "I'm just seeing a garage right now." There's a car, maybe a really old car in a garage. Um, Pip, P-I-P. -P. They just gave me Pip. Nine one eight. Hmm. And um, I just saw, oh, somebody's a PC. Somebody's looking in on their PC. Somebody's on a PC right now. Okay. And they're telling me um, a plate, like a dinner plate or a plate. I, well, they're seeing, I'm seeing a, like a dinner plate, a plate, a dinner plate. Or some, maybe you're eating dinner or uh, you have like a favorite flower pattern on a plate. King and Queen of Cups, okay. Mm. Interestingly enough, I feel like it's a match, but look at you two back to back, not even facing each other. So I feel like a lot of you are kind of like, okay, yeah, this is my person, but we are just so repelled by one another for some reason. You're always waiting for your ships to come in. This person's t oh, got tons of ships around them. You know what I mean? Like you're always like, where is this person at? And this person's like, they know exactly where you are at all times for some strange reason. I don't know if they're watching you. Um, or they're out sailing around and you're, you've are you been on like this beach waiting for this person to reach out and then they reach out and then it's like, oh, you get triggered and then you're like, oh, and they lull you to sleep and then you get caught up in the cycle once again. And I feel like Virgo, I don't know who this message is because the messages have been really great the past, I guess, week, but something's going on here with this one particular person where they are just... Look, they're flying in to, in to see you. Maybe they're a pilot or they fly planes. We have a 747 or an airplane of some sort, okay? Um, this person might live at a, be at a distance on a distance. We also have a reindeer, okay? I mean, dare I say Rudy, Rudolph or Rudy. <laughs> Somebody might live where there's a lot of deer. You're seeing a lot of deer, okay? You, you might be in the woods. Maybe you live in like a wooded area where there's a lot of deer and this person is always on a plane. Okay. Hmm. All right. Somebody's watching you on Twitter. And if you're not on Twitter, that don't get like, I'm not on Twitter. It's not, it's, me it's message is not for you if you're not on Twitter. Holy shiz. Okay, got a lot of stuff going on here. So again with the pink rocking horse, I swear I keep saying, um, I keep saying that somebody's going to have a little baby girl. Um, there's a baby girl coming. It's going to be born. All right, we have a guitar and we have musical notes. So somebody is a musician or is playing the guitar right now. I know it sounds very cliche. Actually, I don't It might be a cello or a violin. Okay, so it's a, a stringed instrument. 
making music or somebody makes music okay maybe they're a musician or they travel or you do okay again with the muscles somebody's got a lot of big muscles or they're they're muscular male or female we have the yin yang and we have a christmas ball <laughs> what the heck a christmas ball it's, oh it's also like a a quilt like a like a i'm seeing uh here a blue turquoise light blue dark blue and beige kind of quilt those are like the colors that i'm picking up and the hummingbird okay somebody has a yin yang somewhere around them and they you know it's interesting because today is the two is the two 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 portal and um i feel like the, the purpose of this whole message with this portal is to open up and let you know um you know 222 is about like love and partnerships but with this portal here i feel like this is a, a strong message for you to be aware um of this person coming back in and to be on your guard about this person something to do with a yin yang i feel there's a there's a dance that you and this person do you know is this person like extremely narcissistic that they're going to hurt you no it's it's just you just have to recognize that once someone is selfish only an act of god is really going to change this person um or like a near-death experience and it, maybe this person's having a near-death experience maybe you know something's happening here with you know this situation where they are waking up to their selfish ways and their selfish energy maybe does that mean that you should just with arms wide open welcome this person back no because like i said you got to be in a position of like okay you're gonna have to prove it to me because you've been proven to me or i've had people prove to me that they are no good that they are a typical veruca salt and we are not dating veruca salts male or female you know i want to go with an egg daddy i want i want it now that's no get out goodbye get out i just want to ask the magic eight ball if i can see it and then i'm going to end your reading because i'm cutting it short tonight is this person changed has this person changed or is it the same old shoes of course i can't see it because my eight ball is old you know like when you shake it and then the only thing that's left like the tip just the tip only the tip it's only the tip okay i can't see it so i'll tell you what we'll do a little you remember these i'm so 80s you remember these okay so we're gonna pick first number and we're gonna ask is this person um coming back like have they changed what is the message here okay we're going to start with number two one two and then we're going to do six one two three four five six and then we're going to do five huh for sure well virgo i don't know what to tell you i think you just need to keep your eyes open Keep your ears peeled. Make sure that if somebody's coming back in and they've actually had an epiphany and a, a huge life change, okay, because there is death on their side, so something may have happened. Transformation. I'm not trying to get your hopes up, but you're going to have to like, all right, if you want to hear them out, fine, but if you think you're going to be triggered, don't worry, they'll find a way in. I'm telling you, for this Valentine's Day, little hoovering, this person's going to find their way to you. So you can, the only way you really could get away from this is if you, um, I don't know, go to the witness protection or you, I don't know, go live at the bottom of the deep blue sea. Because they're going to, they'll dive down there, they'll find you to talk to you. So be prepared. Be prepared. All right, you guys, love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this quickie, and I will see you all tomorrow.